yeah let's get on the way let's do this so the next material we're going to be creating is the uh the calipers we're seeing here all right the brake calipers we're going to be creating the materials for the brake calipers so let me just go in here let me go into local view now this brake calipers i think has some modifiers applied to it so what we're going to do is we are going to apply these modifiers for the brake calipers that is this one first so let's just bring up the mirror modifier and apply it now we're going to apply the bevel modifier as well and uh, we're going to keep the subdivision we don't need to apply that one so i'm going to go back to global view and we're going to do the same thing with this so i'm going to apply the mirror we're going to apply the bevel i'm going to keep the last one let's take this one as well do the same thing to it apply apply and leave the last one so we're going to take these three those are the ones we're going to be uh, texturing in this video well, that in the rim. So let's get on started. With, we're going to take this one. And let's go over to the materials tab. Where's the material? Yeah, that's it. So let's click on new. And I'm going to name this, uh, what do you call it? Caliper. Should we call it? Yeah. So the brick. Brick. Caliper. Caliper materials. Yeah. I think that's a good name. Brick caliper material. All right. So we're going to be. Okay. So brick caliper material. We're just going to call this one brick pads material i think the brake pads yeah brake pads materials so this one is going to be the brake caliper material we're going to we're going to apply the same thing to this one over here so let's get on started with this so i'm just going to split the view over here all right into two just like we always do i'm going to go into the shader editor like this and all i'm going to do is we're going to create the uh, base color for this so let me just bring up the preview here let me set this to material preview like this so I'm going to set up the base color, something to control the base color and something to control the roughness. And I think something to control the normal as well, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So let's get on with this. Oh, maybe, yeah, let's get on with this. So let's press Shift and A. We're going to add in a, uh, what do you call it, a noise texture. All right. So noise. Now we're going to set the scale to 1,500. That's 1,500. And now let's take this one. Let's click on this and let's press Control and T to apply the... Uh, texture coordinate uh, mapping onto this so you can leave this here or you can just remove it and just set this directly into the object I mean the vector over here but if you want to keep the mapping you're just gonna set this into the vector and that's it so just set the object into the vector and you're good to go so let's take a preview of this let's see what this looks like alright so this is what we have going on for the uh, base color so before we do anything else let's take all of these objects the reason why we apply the uh, modifiers is to be able to apply the uh, the rotation and scale of the objects here so as the uh, so that the uh, the texture that we're applying to this thing is actually applying to it in uh, what do you call it I don't know how to put it but let's apply it and you'll see what I mean so I'm just gonna press ctrl and a and apply the rotation and scale and you can see it, it changes something on the object for you let me undo this and show you what I mean Pay attention to this, okay? You're going to see what I mean soon. All right, so you can see that changed over there. So let's press Ctrl and A and let's apply this again. You can see it changes again, all right? So I think it's sort of like uh, you want to apply the uh, rotation and scale so that uh, you don't want things being uh, bigger than they're supposed to be in uh, real life or you don't want things to be smaller than they're supposed to be in real life something like that so when you're applying the object that is like uh when you have your object set to the normal size as it is in real life when you apply the uh, rotation and skill it sets it to the uh, sort of like the actual size it is supposed to be in real life i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but yeah hopefully you understand it now let's take this so we're going to set that to 1500 and that is just going to be the base color so we're going to add in a color ramp all right so let's go to converter color ramp right here i'm going to set that in here and now what we're going to do with the color ramp is we're going to set the linear here to b spline all right and then we're going to leave this just on the ends like that and then uh yeah we're going to keep the color like that so let's take a look at it you can see what we have going on is just some lighter gray sort of some gradient lighter gray and pure white something like that and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this one into the base color like that so let's take a look at this and let's see what that looks like all right so that's looking good but obviously this thing is a metal right so it's fully metallic so what we're going to do is we're going to increase the slider over here all the way to one to make it fully metallic so all the way to one like that just to make it fully metallic all right so once we've done that we're going to take all of these just make sure you have all of these four selected and press shift and d we're going to duplicate this to the bottom here like this all right 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the value for the noise texture down here to 2000 instead, not 1500. So this is going to be controlling the bump on this, the normal. Now we're going to add in a, let's add in a, um, a bump map, I think, yeah. So a bump map. And I'm going to take this one, I'm going to delete this, we don't need it. Let me take all of this, press G, and move it all the way here. I want to add in a conv no a vector bump map right here, and I want to set this into the height, all right, just like that. And what I want to do next, we're going to reduce the strength. I want to drop the strength down to 0.1, and I want to set this into the normal, and that's it. That should do it. So it's going to take a while, and there we go. So you can see what we have going on. This is what I was trying to get, and you can see it looks great for a brake caliper. And hopefully you guys got the same result. But I want to increase the strength to 0.15 because I think it's a bit too low. So let's try and put 0.15 and there we go. Alright, so that is looking great. That is the first part of the material. Let's take a look at it in cycles. See what it looks like. And nice. So you can see it's looking great in cycles as well. So all that we're going to do is we're going to take... Did we apply rotation and scale to this? I think we did. Let's apply it to this one as well. So I want to take this one, and then that one, I mean you could just take this and go in here and select, uh, what do you call it, uh, break caliper material, but in case the material is too many here, you don't want to scroll through and select the material, all that you can do is just take this one first, and then take the one that has the material second, and press Control and L, and then go, and then click on materials, okay, so it's going to apply the materials that this one has to this one over here, alright, just like that. So if we take a look at it, you can see we have it on both objects now. Nice. Okay. Now, I'm just trying to look at something here. I'm looking at the timer on my recorder and the timer on my, uh, my video. Because if you guys have noticed, some of my videos have the audio being too fast. And that is as a result of my recorder uh, recording way too fast, as in the timer moves too fast than normal. So I'm trying to make sure that isn't happening again, just so it doesn't give me that problem when I'm editing the video. It doesn't look like it's really happening. All right, so let's take this one next. We're gonna apply the. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the next material for this one. All right. So we're gonna click on new, and I'm gonna call this the brake pad, brake pad, brake pads material like that so this is quite different it's pretty much the same process but it's a bit different kind of so what we're gonna do is give me a second I'm just taking a look at this all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a noise texture all right I think we pretty much could have duplicated this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm just click the plus sign and I'm gonna load in the uh, what do you call it the brake caliper material and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these and press Ctrl and C. And I'm going to go in here and press Ctrl and V to paste it in there. Just like that. Alright, now I can get rid of it. Like that. Alright. So now for the brick caliper, we're going to want to make this a little bit more dark. Alright, we want to make it darker than what it is. So let's set this in here. And you can see the base color is actually quite gray. Alright. So we're going to drop the brightness for this mark over here. We're going to increase it up a little bit. I want to drop that of this one. We're gonna drop it down even more like that all right so there's our effect let me just hide this real quick I'm gonna dial it down a little bit more like that so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to move the sliders around just so the um, let me increase this a little bit let me increase this just a touch all right so we're just gonna move the sliders around just so the uh, you can see the variation in here is quite less all right so let me just move this here Maybe somewhere around here. I'm going to move this up here like that. Let me just drop the brightness of this one a little bit down like that. Maybe just a touch more like that. Just a tiny bit up like that. Just to reduce the variation a little bit less like that. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we are going to use the bump to control the the way we want uh, the surface to look like, alright, just like we did with the brake caliper material. But before we actually do anything else, let's add in a an image texture, which we're going to be placing on top of this uh, 
brake parts right here to make it look uh what do you call it this sort of a mercedes sign on it just to make it look good all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get to the side view now this is the side where this is the side that is facing the outside of the car right so this side is not going to be necessary we just want to apply the image to this side over here so let's get on to the side here let me press shift in a and add in uh an image under input let's add in no under texture let's add in an image texture right here like this I'm going to set that down here. I'm going to click on open. Now, I might actually make this image available for you guys, or you can even search on Google to find the image uh, that I'm about to show you guys. So it's on my desktop, I think. No, it's in my, uh, let me go over to Blender stuff in uh, G-Wagon. In the folder here, it should be here. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. So I'm going to set that one in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the view here now into two. I'm going to set this to the UV editor right here all right so i'm going to load in that image this image and i'm going to be on the side view like this i'm going to go into edit mode i'm going to take all the faces from here all the way to here all these faces i want to get to the side press u and i'm going to unwrap this like that so i want to take all of this i'm going to scale it up and i want to rotate it i think yeah like that so rotate press r and type in 90 like that Let's press G and then X. Move this here. I'm just going to scale it up a little bit more. G and then Y. Move this down a little bit. Just scale it down just a little bit more. I don't know if it's too much or too less. I'm just scale it down like that. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press shift and A over here under the shader editor. And I'm going to go into shader. No. Is it color? And I'm going to add in a mixed RGB. All right. So I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to leave it on add. I'm going to change this from mix to add. And I'm going to set the, come on, I'm going to set the color of the image texture here into the bottom socket of this art shader here. Come on, there we go. Nice. So you can see we have it going on, but it's repeating, all right? So all we're going to do is go down here. I want to change this from repeat to clip like that. And there we go. So let me just go into edit mode. I'm going to press G and then Y. I'm just going to move this down until it's about somewhere here. I think somewhere here should be good. Let's get out of that. And I think it's too gray. All right, the color is too gray. I think we just have to dial down the... Um, let me take a look. Yeah, we just have to set down this material here. Let me see if we drop it down a little bit. Let me see about dropping this one down a little bit as well. All right, so just mess around with the uh, color over there just to get the uh, the brake parts to look right. All right, so again, this is again metallic. So we're going to increase this to a full metallic. Come on, a full metallic like that. And now we have to increase the colors a little bit. I think that was why it wasn't looking too black. But now we, we fixed it. And just increase this a little bit. And there we go. Alright, so one final thing we're going to do is to press Shift and D over here, duplicate this to here, and I'm going to set the, uh, let me see, I think what we're going to do is, let's set, let's move the bump map over here, and I'm going to set this in here, and I'm going to set this one as well to the bottom layer over here, like this, and I think that's it, yeah, that's it, and I'm just going to set this into the normal, pretty much, and that's it. Come on. All right, there we go. So you can see what I was going for. Just like that. But the bump is too much in this case. So I'm going to reduce that down to about... Let's try 0.1. Let's go with 0.1. All right, 0.1 is better. And there we go. So let's press Alt and H to bring everything back. And you can see what we have going on. This is pretty much the brake... The brake caliper and the brake pad being out of the way. So that, that is how you make the materials for those one. Hopefully you guys got it right. I'm gonna end the video here. Actually, before I end it, let me get let me get over to global view. Let's see how this looks. So you can see how that looks. It looks really great. We can take a look at it in cycles. You can do that if you want. Just press Z and then go over to rendered. And there we go. Looking good. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this materials. 
I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be making the material for the rims and the uh, wheel nuts and of course the logo in the middle there. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.